Here we're asked to factor a four-term expression. We're going to factor this by grouping, but as it sits, if I group the second two terms, it looks like the GCF there is simply one, and that's not going to be too helpful. So what I'm going to have to do here is rearrange the terms and try to group it in a different way. So I'm going to put the x cubed in the front, plus xy, okay, minus 2x squared y, and then minus 2y squared. Let's see if this order will allow us to do factor by grouping. Okay, so let's group the first two. In the first two, it looks like the GCF is x. When I factor out that x, uh, what will be left is x squared plus y. Now for the second two terms, it looks like the GCF is negative 2y. Factoring out a negative 2y, then what will be left? You can see here x squared plus y will be left. Let's double check that. Negative 2y times x squared is negative 2x squared y. Negative 2y times positive y is negative 2y squared. Okay, so notice now we have what looks like a binomial with the quantity x squared plus y now as a GCF. So if we factor that out, what will be left? Well, we could see here x minus 2y will be left. Okay, so there you have it. We factored it by grouping. First, though, we had to rearrange the terms.